Oh my god, I spent I spent ten dollars for this. I'm gonna give this to my brother. It's gonna be an awesome pack. He's gonna get some amazing assassinations. And wait, what? There's only two assassinations in here? Are you kidding me? I spent ten dollars on this! Are you freaking kidding me? What's going on everybody? My name's Xanoin47 for all of you that don't know and for those of you that do, welcome back to the channel for more quality Halo content. And yes, I do make quality Halo content if I do say so myself. Anybody that doesn't think so, well, that's just rude. <laughs> Alright, anyways guys, so getting into today's topic, I've recently been in contact with a lot of the community members over at 343. Thank you guys, all of you, for talking to the community as much as you do even after the games have been launched and have, I mean, you haven't made a game in a good little while now and you're still talking about older games and updating it and I just really appreciate that and all of that good stuff. But what I was getting over to was the fact that a lot of these guys actually do watch these videos that I make and other creators out there that are smaller than, say, Ultimate Halo or Halo Follower or Ready Up Live. Basically, I didn't really think that they were paying much attention to us little guys. So, I've come to the conclusion, like I said, speaking to some of the guys over at 343, and ladies actually, but <laughs> my point being, they do actually watch these videos and a lot of them want to know feedback. So basically, as you can tell from the beginning of this, I don't appreciate the rec pack that had just come out two weeks ago now. That was the Assassinations rec pack. And you'll see me open it and I'll play some of the Assassinations that look really cool. But you've got two Assassinations for $10. That's an unbelievable price tag to put on four cosmetic items in Halo 5. And it just, it blows me away that that happens. And I'm not here to rant. I'm really not. I, I just really think that that shouldn't be a thing. You should get a lot more than what you pay for $10 for, for, <laughs> I mean, I could get better pulls from a 2 or $3 silver or gold pack, to be totally honest with you, than what I pulled from that $10 rec pack for my brother. And I just honestly think that it's really a ripoff. I, I, I think that you should get more bang for your buck, so to speak. And no, that wasn't meant to be a pun, but sure, I'll go ahead and put it in there. <laughs> Anyways, what I'm getting to here is that I do think that the progression in Halo 6 needs to be a bit better. So obviously we know the rec system isn't going away, but what they can do with it is revamp it so it is better than Halo 5. While I know everybody's going to say, hey, well Frankie said that it's unintrusive so they're not going to change it at all. Well hopefully they will change it for the better and this is how I believe that they can do that. So obviously everybody loved the reach progression system, especially now since we've had Halo 5. Everybody wants to go back to Halo Reach or Halo 4 or just a simple in-between. So what they can do with the rec system in my opinion, and I'll throw some prototype images up on the screen, basically they could just have us level up like we do in Halo 5, but instead of giving us progression packs and commendation packs that literally do nothing for us, they could have us level up and get specific cosmetic items each time you level up. So there would be a reason to get to max level even though it is a ridiculous grind to get there in Halo 5 specifically. I mean, because obviously it is very difficult to balance if you do weapons. I would love for them to take the time to do weapons, but if they don't, at least do cosmetics, please. I mean, it's really just that simple. We need to be able to get better loot and better pulls from the level ups and have specific level up items be from reaching a, <laughs> a gosh darn level because there was no point to leveling up. I mean, the commendation rec packs were a joke. The level up rec packs were a joke until they got to the higher up tiers and it was overall, there was no fun in leveling up. It, it, it just had no point. And, I mean, you could get some abilities, okay? That's not cosmetic, but Warzone wise, I do think that that at least, it doesn't need to be random. That, just like I said in a previous video, test it out in Halo 5. I mean, for the new guys. I recently made a Smurf account, and before everybody gets on to me for that, just go over and see how many people use Smurf accounts now. Just saying, I don't want to have to go and hunt for clips 
in a regular account when everyone else is using the Smurf account. I used it to see how the progression and everything is in Halo 5 now that it's been about two years. And honestly, I'm, I'm not really that impressed in the ways that I believe that I should have been. Honestly, I still think that the progression could have been better. You could have updated it 343, but you didn't, which is fine. I mean, now that it's done and over with, I still really wish you could change it and wish you would change it, but like I said, just please fix it in Halo 6. The progression needs to be different. Item-wise, I mean, I'm all for in between Halo Reach and Halo 4 in terms of customization. I really do believe that the Halo 4 system would work best, but if you're not going to work with that and you're going to stick with the Halo 5, and I'm, I don't like using the word lazy because I know that it is difficult to make these things, but it, it honestly felt lazy and kind of like a slap in the face every time you would make a new armor set quote-unquote new because it would just be the same armor set with a different pattern and they would all be white I mean at least give us the ability to change that please maybe in a future update because somebody I'm pretty sure I heard somebody over there say that they would be adding another update to Halo 5 I could be wrong but I really hope that I'm right Point being, I just really hope that we see more customization in Halo 6. Uh, and I'm going to get back into this point because there is a way and lore is not the reason that 343 is not putting playable elites into Halo anymore. So please just let us put playable elites into the game. I mean, even if it's just in custom games, guys, like we don't have to have that on for MLG, like HCS. It doesn't have to be like that, but I just really want them to come back. And there's so many ways that you could do that with Forge and custom games and all that other stuff. I mean, you sort of did it with the infected in obviously infection in Halo 5. They in Halo 4, they look completely different. The models we're not the same Spartans we were used to. Maybe even be able to customize our Spartans and Singeli. I mean, I just, that's something I really wish you could do. Obviously, they may or may not do that, but I feel like that would be really cool in terms of progression. Maybe even only putting that for if you are above the 50% point in Halo 6. That would be a really good way to get players wanting to level up because they would want to be elites. I mean, it's really, there are so many different ways that you could be creative with this. And I just honestly want to see a better progression system in Halo 6. I mean, maybe even bring back armor effects that they had in Halo Reach to an extent or add new ones. I mean, that would be really, really cool, guys. I mean, it, like I said, the, the list just goes on. And if there's anything that I missed, obviously put them down in the comments because like I said, they do watch these videos and I'll tweet this out over to the guys over at 343 to show it to them and they should go down and read the comments as you guys will know some more ways that I just didn't get to in today's video. But with that being said, that's going to wrap her up for today. I hope you all enjoyed. Thank you guys for supporting me, even with the lackluster amount of videos being posted. But I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next video, Spartans. Keep on rocking, and we'll be back for another video very soon, guys.